Elvis, what's really going on? What's up with you, man? Man, we in Miami. You already know. Straight up, how you, how you uh, enjoying your trip? I'm good, man. I got a couple shows out here, man. Okay. You got to do a walkthrough. Okay. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 When niggas was like, who the fuck is this nigga? And I'm saying like, people from DC in the DMV area, like, who is this nigga? Like, I'm looking like shit. If you don't know who the fuck I am, you ain't in that 10 percent. Like, all of, everybody that's somebody in DC know exactly who I am. So. Yeah, yeah, cause we got we got bashed for that. Like, you know, when we posted, you was like, ah, oh, there's so many real niggas y'all should be posted, but y'all posted this nigga. We yeah. never seen this dude around. Man, you already know how that shit go, man. So for the people who don't know, in the DMV, cause the DMV is so big. You know what I'm saying? The DMV could be anywhere in the DMV. Right. Where are you from exactly? I'm from 520 Capitol Heights. You feel me? That's right by what? Right on the co the borderline of DC and Maryland. So, okay. so you what in DC? You just playing golf or you just? Well, I mean, for real, for real, how how the, the city work out? They they push everybody from DC and Maryland, so you can't really even separate it for real. And I I've been to DC schools all my life, so niggas can't say I ain't from DC. Like I've grown up in DC all my life. Like I'm not like these other rap niggas that go to Maryland schools and claim DC. Like I've, if you Check my track record. I've been to DC schools, like straight DC schools. So. Yeah, right. Now, so we, you know, I'm you see your boys are starting to pick up a little bit. Now, you know, we spoke on this cheetah, right? Yes, how, yes. How, 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 how the fuck did you get a cheetah pet? Now, I ain't even about to tell you how I got it, but just to clarify some shit, cause goddamn DJ Smalls job like made me seem like a fucking animal abuser and shit. Uh, I, I'm just gonna keep it short. Like I got it. Shit happened, I wasn't even there when the shit happened, like when he died, but when I got the call, it fucked me up, cause I mean, that was a pretty penny I spent on that, so I'm gonna just leave it at that. Great, but how did you get it? Like, how did you own it? Like, did you buy it? I mean, it? I bought it, and it got shipped here from South Africa. That, that's all I can really tell you. Yeah, how much was it? About 9,500. No, you gonna own it. So you could have got a car, you could have got a crib. Right. You could have got anything it. in the world, but you bought a cheetah. Yeah. Is this on Amazon or eBay? Nah, I ain't telling you how I got this shit, but goddamn, I, I bought it. They showed me how to raise it, and that's what I did. I got it, for real, for real, to be honest with you, I got it to kidnap one of these fucking rap niggas to feed it to, to be honest with you. Yeah. So, so you buy a cheetah, is it, is it like a bait? Is it like a cub? Like yeah, a, it was a cub, and okay. I raised it. And that shit was getting big as hell. Like, you, you go on my Instagram, I got videos and shit of it, so. It's not like I'm welling, like niggas know, like I used to post this shit on my snap as it got bigger, so. Yeah. So, but you woke up one morning and it was dead or what? Nah, uh, I got a phone call when I was out that it, it had hung itself. And basically, in the process of it hanging itself, he, uh, I guess he was chasing something on the back porch and he was on a leash on the back porch and he jumped off. Mm -hmm. So, it wasn't like he was purposely trying to kill himself, but that's just what happened. So. Yeah. So, Cheetah died. And, and, and how did people find? Did you have to cheat in your music videos? Like, how did people find out about it? See, I was just getting getting it to the point Marketing to get there. Yeah. But I was like put, putting little videos and shit out, and um, I was putting it all over my snap. So people were always messaging me and shit like, "Bro, why the fuck do you got a cheetah?" Cause like, you know, I just like man, I just got it, and then it was just a conversation starter for real. Yeah. Um, so how expensive is? You know, I, I know they eat a lot. Like, how long did you have it for? I had it for about 10 months. And like every, how, do you, how much How much was it a month to keep it, you know? I mean, it's basically a cat for real. So I, I was feeding it cat food. I didn't want to feed it like raw meat because then it would have been like seeking that. And then I didn't want it, you know, to turn on me and type right. shit. So. Right. That's what's up. So they taught you all that before you got the cat. Right. Right, definitely. So, okay, so on your rap shit, how long have you been rapping? Have you been doing this shit in school and all that too? Hell yeah, I've been I've been rapping since about, I was first introduced to poetry in the, in the fourth grade, but I ain't really started taking it serious till I got out of high school. Um, and I've been doing it professionally for about nine going on 10 years now. I actually just put up a post that like the DMV has so much talent right now. It does. So much talent from Baltimore, Maryland, DC, so, the female Rico Nasty and right. Simba, man, I can keep going on. Like doing our thing. What, what, what's the scene like to you right now? Where's the, where's the, where's the hip hop, you know, 
Act right now in your, in, your, in, your, in your area. In the DMV, it's just like every other city, city that's like emerging with talent. They ain't no support. Like niggas do not fuck with each other. Like it's just, it's just shady as hell. And it's like you gotta be able to uh, move in this shit around real motherfuckers because at the end of the day, if you ain't really solid with it, then nobody ain't really gonna fuck with you. And it's like certain motherfuckers I don't really like fucking with because I know their background. Like I know the DMV seems big. But when you actually from there, the DMV is actually small as shit. Like, everybody knows everybody. Like, you can't run into somebody that doesn't know somebody that you know type shit. And once you actually get somebody background and you hear the shit that they rapping about, you be like, bruh, I, I can't fuck with it. Like, cause I, I know it's not genuine. That's, that's, that's like the biggest problem with me. So I don't really like associate myself with a lot of other DMV artists. But if I see you working and I see like, you really putting the effort out to put some cranking ass music out yeah. and I'm always seeing motherfuckers talking about you little kids and shit playing your shit like I hear your song when, they, when people driving by and shit that I know like alright then I need to fuck with this nigga that's, that's how I basically do it right, now when I, when I post the let's say I post the DC artist and he's from Maryland or he's from it's kind of like y'all are real in particular about where somebody's from like oh he's not from DC he's from Maryland like you, 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 is it like beef between the cities or is it just like like how, how is it I mean, I don't really, I really don't understand it myself, like, because a lot of people that's from D.C. move out in Maryland, and a lot of people that's in Maryland, I mean, they don't really, they're not really cut from that same cloth as D.C. people, so when you hear that, oh, he not from D.C., or nah, that nigga, he claiming this, but he not that, when you hear that shit, it's more so of a thing where, uh, that artist or that person or whatnot really... They can't, it's like they really can't speak on certain shit. So, and that's all, that's really all you get from that, like, yeah. It ain't really like no, oh, Maryland is beefing with Virginia and Virginia's beefing with DC. It's not, it's not nothing like that at all. Yeah. Right now, it, it's a lot going on in DC right now. It's 14 missing girls. Yeah, um, and that shit know. is crazy. And like, on the news, they're saying they're not, they, they're like run away, like, like they ran away from home. Like they're trying to like flip the script, like they're not, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, that, that shit is crazy to me, cause it's like, niggas really like, not putting any emphasis on that. Like, I have a little sister, like, I don't even let her leave the house without somebody being supervised. Like, she don't go to school by herself or nothing. And for the media to not portray how the importance of these missing girls are, it's like, absurd to me. Like, it doesn't, it really doesn't make sense. Like, they, they'd be quick to post some shit about some some goofy like somebody getting shot or some or somebody running in the store stealing some shit before they say like oh we found some missing girls like that shit is crazy and it's, and it's like all of these cameras that they got up around the city and nobody has any kind of footage and nobody getting snatched up like that shit is absurd to me. Yeah. Like, um, do you have any connections with any of those 14 girls family related anything no nah. but it's like just having a little sister knowing that that shit could happen to her it kind of touches me the same way as if I knew one of them. Right. Now you got the eye trap uh, t shirts. You raise it up for the camera? You already know. I trapping across the globe. You feel me? You get a CD too. Straight up. So, where, where'd you get that from? Like that whole, I mean, I know we, I, 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 I trap. You right. Know what I mean? Apple, I, you know what I'm mean? saying? Yeah. iPhone. But, you know what I'm mean? saying? Don't you feel like, you know, I have make try to. You know, it was crazy as a lot of people from IHOP have been, been like, shit, I need one of them. <laughs> so, I, I don't really care no, nothing about it. But as soon as some niggas cut me a check, I mean, that's what, that's what, that's what we try to do with it. Yeah. Shout out to my nigga Danny, Danny Bands, you feel me? Shout out to my nigga Drew Finesse, uh, Jordan Harris, L. Poppy C. So I see y'all niggas, man. Me and Euro Skrill about to take over the whole 2017, I'm telling you. Yeah. We, like, we got some big moves, big shit in store. Um, and yeah, if you need a shirt, hit the Sick Music Group page. We definitely getting them to everybody. Like the city's going crazy with it right now. Like you already seen goddamn Dex in the shit. Goddamn uh, Sauce Walker. Uh, we had a whole bunch of other artists in them too, so. Yeah. Uh, a lot of people supporting them. Straight up. So, you know, what, what makes you so different? Like what, you know, it's a lot of rappers in this world. It's a lot of talent in the DMV area, but what makes you different? 
What makes me different from them niggas is that the shit that I'm rapping about, I actually do. And the shit that rappers want, I already have. So it's like, it's not really of a, a thing where I gotta, you know, fake it till I make it type of thing. Like, I, this is a Rolex on my wrist. This is $15,000. Like, these shirts are going crazy. Like, I don't, I don't, I really don't, I really don't have anything to, you can't really compare me to these niggas, really. All the rest of these niggas, they just in the way. And that's how I've been looking at it ever since yeah. I've been doing this shit. So, so are you, are you the only rapper in, in your crew? Well, you know, Sick Music Group is my, my actual record label. I have a team of artists that I'm pushing out there. C3 is about to do amazing things. Hope for the best, prepare for the worst, volume two coming soon. I just signed a new artist by the name of Trey Savage, who was actually from my hood. So it was just, you know, bound to happen, you feel me? Um, he got a, a, a great project on the way as well. Um, and we got another co uh, another um, collective project called Came From Nothing Volume 2 by the drop. Now, when you get an I Trap shirt, you, get a, you actually get uh, Came From Nothing Volume 1 CD. Um, and that's pretty much it.